My name is Minu Lee, and I am from Samsung Medical Center. At Samsung Medical Center, I mainly perform radio frequency ablation of liver cancers. Since radio frequency ablation is often performed on early stage cancers, fusion imaging is useful in precisely locating small early stage tumors. This patient has a small hepatocellular carcinoma, but his tumor is very small. On this ultrasound image, can you detect the tumor? It is not an easy task. In contrast, this image is a fusion image. Based on the fused MR images, you can easily localize it. This is the reason fusion imaging is needed in medical practice. Fusion imaging is highly useful in locating such very small hepatocellular carcinomas. Fusion imaging also offers the benefits of decreasing the likelihood of mistargeting accidents. Now, I shall explain to you the registration methods of S-Fusion from Samsung. First, I will explain about manual registration. The first step is to upload CT or MR data to the ultrasound machine. The second step is to perform an orientation lock to let the ultrasound machine know the direction of the ultrasound probe. We use the sagittal plane and the probe is positioned on top of the solar plexus. The point lock is performed by marking corresponding anatomic landmarks between the real-time ultrasound and CT or MR images. The ultrasound plane for a point lock does not have to be the same as the plane of the MR. For example, an oblique plane from intercostal scan can be used. This is a major advantage of S-Fusion. The second method I will explain to you is sweeping auto-registration. First, upload CT or MR data to the ultrasound machine. Second, perform the orientation log. Afterwards, sweep the liver to obtain 3D liver volume with an ultrasound probe. It takes a short while, about 10 seconds, for the system to execute the calculation. That's all. Initial registration is completed. After the initial registration is completed, you can refine the registration by doing additional point locks. Sweeping auto-registration is a highly promising method. However, this method is likely to be affected by the sonographic window, and it is not always possible to obtain proper 3D volume data. This was the reason we developed the positioning auto-registration. I think that this positioning auto-registration is the simplest and the fastest method of image fusion that has ever been reported. Positioning auto-registration is extremely simple to obtain. First, upload CT or MR data to the ultrasound machine. Second, perform the orientation lock after the probe is oriented sagittally on top of the solar plexus. Within several seconds, the initial registration is completed. After the initial registration is completed, you can refine the registration by doing additional point locks. With this method, even relatively untrained users can easily obtain fusion images. It is a highly fast and simple method for obtaining fusion images. This method is unique to S-Fusion, one that is differentiated from other fusion technologies. CEUS is also a very useful tool for localization of small hepatocellular tumors. Traditionally, CEUS displays images on two monitors, one showing the B-mode image, the other showing the contrast image. However, when fusion imaging is available, CEUS can be used in combination with fusion imaging. Using fusion imaging, we can estimate the location of the lesion ahead of administrating the contrast material, allowing us to know the location of the tumor even during the arterial phase. 
This allows us to avoid a second injection and therefore reduces the time. Therefore, once fusion imaging becomes available, it will be necessary to use fusion imaging in tandem with CEUS instead of a B-mode image. These are the additional features offered by Samsung's S-Fusion. Samsung's S-Fusion can realize fusion images in many different ways. It can provide varied options for imaging. The manual method, sweeping method, and positioning method are possible. I think that Samsung's S-Fusion has advantages with regard to speed and accuracy. I'm sure that S-Fusion can help increase your fast and accurate performance in the field of interventional radiology.